But if you look at his sermon, it is chock full of biblical content. I mean, this guy knew the word of God better than most people. Where do you think he learned that? Well, you could just say, well, he's a Jewish guy. He knew the Old Testament. That's not necessarily true. It wasn't just a knowledge of the Old Testament. It was knowledge of how Jesus fulfills the Old Testament. It was a Christocentric view of the Old Testament. He knew that because he, he sat underneath the teaching of the apostles. He was there day in and day out absorbing it. He prioritized the word of God in his own life. He probably read the scripture. He, he, he memorized it. He meditated on it. He put the word of God in him. It was a big deal in his life. And it was a big deal in the life of the church. Uh, the word of God was not, you know, auxiliary. Well, we're really about ministering to people or we're really focused on um, our social ministries or we're really focused on uh, this, that, or the other. They, they didn't take uh, other things and make them primary. They took the word of God and made that primary. That's why they elected the seven guys to be deacons so that those, so that those apostles could give themselves more fully to the work of proclaiming the gospel and advancing the word of God. They prioritized the word of God. In our church, you know what that looks like? Uh, for you, it looks like getting in the book. It looks like uh, you reading the scripture, yearning for it, hungering for it it like a newborn baby uh, hungers for milk and incorporately it looks like keeping the word of God uh, central in everything that we do and there's an effort by some in our our culture these days to kind of take the word and make it let's not talk about that so much let's uh, you know let's not let, let's stop trying to defend the authority of the Bible and the uniqueness of the scripture because so many people in our culture don't respect the the Bible anymore and, and we're, we're fighting a losing battle and so let's just not focus on that let's focus on other things and and I get some of the apologetic motivation behind that, that, that what matters is the resurrection, that the, that the belief in the authority of the scripture, that that comes secondary, it's not primary, I get that, but I think it's a mistake that if a church devalidates or de-emphasizes the centrality of the word of God, the uniqueness of the scripture, uh, we make a mistake because that's where the power is. That's, where the, uh, that's how the mission moves forward. They prioritize the, the word of God. That means.